Hey, Topkin Options traders and investors, Matt Buckley, call sign Wiz, the primary and weekly options model portfolio manager here at TGO. And earnings uh, season officially underway with Alcoa kicking it off last night with a swing and a miss, a beat and a miss. And now we're really starting to get uh, into it in uh, the markets. Uh, not too much going on on the flight schedule as far as economic uh, announcements. Yeah, uh, seeing some good news actually out of China, which is helping a lot of our positions in our primary live trade brief model portfolio. Portfolio. We're long-term bullish on China via the FXI uh, and seeing a nice move out of the FXI today because uh, really seeing uh, inflation uh, in check overseas in China. So China's really starting to gain a little bit of a bid here. Let's take a look at a chart of the FXI. And you can see that we've really, uh, you know, as U.S. equities have caught a bid, the FXI has really started to uh, to pull out of the uh, recent nosedive that it's been in. And we've gotten some uh, nice trades here. So as you can see, as U.S. equities, you know, people kind of fled emerging markets. Uh, people uh, moved into U.S. equities. And now they're moving out of U.S. equities and back into emerging markets. And that's pretty funny. So uh, keep this one on the brain, that chart right there. And then take a look at this chart right here. Does that look uh, familiar? Uh, it kind of looks like the FXI, right? except this is Brazil. So the BRICs tend to move together. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South uh, uh, um, Africa. So look at this. Nice decrease. Uh, everybody going to U.S. equities, and now everybody's starting to realize that earnings are most likely going to suck. Uh, we got a North Korea test going on, and really high tensions between the United States and the BRIC countries kind of going, hey, nothing to see here. We're all good to go. So seeing some good moves out of our long-term diagonals uh, in the FXI and our Brazil Brazil ETF, a couple of emerging market positions uh, we have there. Also seeing some interesting uh, moves today in gold. Very shocking. Art not, you know what? It's not shocking. I completely agree with it, but it's just stunning to me to see a headline like this. Trust in gold, not Bernack, as U.S. states promote bullion. Over a dozen states are moving to recognize gold and silver as legal tender. There is a fear that the government, or Bernack in particular, the Fed, is pursuing a policy that will lead to the collapse of the dollar. Isn't that incredible, folks? Texas wants their gold back. Texas Investment Management Company. Um, they want their gold back. They want it back at the University of Texas. States not trusting the United States government. Absolutely shocking, right? Got news. Uh, a buddy of mine is the commanding officer of the Blue Angels, the Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels. They just canceled their season. The Thunderbirds and the Blue Angels will not fly in air show season. But you know what's good news? At least there's another exclusive party at the White House that you and I paid for with Justin Timberlake, Queen Latifah, uh, Al Green, whoever else these people are who I don't care about. Uh, you paid for it, folks. So while this is going on, North Korea to launch a missile tomorrow. U.S. Ambassador uh, is talking about his family vacation on the blog. Uh, we got Patriot missiles to defend Tokyo. We're warning foreigners to leave South Korea. North Korea has booted all the ambassadors out, saying we can't protect you. Leave the country. The Obama administration is cutting defense. Awesomeness, Mr. President. Pure awesomeness. Let's gut defense while you're partying. Good stuff, folks. Um, so that's what's going on this week is the world could end and uh, Mr. Obama's partying. But... Um, this is very interesting, guys. The NFIB, it's a small business report, right? Small business report, uh, you know, people, small businesses between one and 250 people, which I count myself uh, a proud member of by the National Federation of Independent uh, Business. Their last report last month obliterated President Obama. It's supposed to be a nonpartisan, but it was shocking how the, the tone. And again, it's coming in negative. Small businesses are the engines that drive this country, and they're sputtering, and they're dying. But there's a party in the White House, and there's actually more parties in the White House if you take a look at this. Um, another command perform. It's just it's, – it's incredible. And celebrities are demanding uh, the president ease um, his drug policy. Good stuff. Uh, 
flight to gold today, guys. Nice little – check this out. Uh, I just conducted our uh, primary live trade brief every Tuesday morning in 0900. We have a primary live trade brief. Put this – let's take – let me show you my order screen. Put a bull put spread on as gold caught a bid this morning uh, about an hour ago at 949 uh, a.m. There you go. It was a bull put spread. Sold a weekly. That it expires this Friday. Weekly options, a bull put spread. Sold the 151 and a half, 149 and a half bull put spread. And it's up 50% in 45 minutes. It was up 600 bucks uh, when I started taping. It's up 525 bucks. 525 bucks in 45 minutes on the pop in the GLD. Worth the price of admission alone. And a nice good day in the model portfolio. We're up 2800 bucks on some pretty good uh, market moves, essentially when the market's flat. You know you got, you got a, a nice looking hedge portfolio when the market's flat. You got some greens, you got some light greens, you got some pinks, and you got a little darker uh, uh, pink, reddish. That's a nice hedged portfolio, folks. So a lot of good stuff going on. We got a lot of earnings uh, coming out uh, this week, not a lot of economic data. Next week is going to be bank week. Uh, Monday through Friday, we have everybody from Citigroup to uh, PNC to State Street to SunTrust to JP Morgan to Wells Fargo. Next week is bank week. Going to be a very, very critical part of the earnings uh, season. A lot of regional rep banks report next week, and they, like small businesses, Businesses kind of are the engines of America. Uh, you know, the Goldman Sachs, the JP Morgan's, Morgan Stanley's. Folks, go try and get a mortgage from Goldman Sachs. You can't. Um, but the Sun Trust, the State Streets, the Northern Trust, those are the, uh, you know, financials tend to lead us into and out of a recession. And if these financials next week sputter, the market's going to implode. I guarantee it. So we need to either see some strength out of the financials. Uh, actually, we don't need. I don't care. As an options trader, I don't care if the financials are great, average, or poor next week. I'm going to trade the hell out of it and potentially make money. That's the beauty of trading options. So uh, let me correct myself by saying we need to see strength out of the financials. I really don't care uh, because I'm going to trade them. Uh, Fifth, third, Bank Corp. Like I said, a lot of regional banks uh, next week. So a lot of good stuff going on in the model portfolio. A lot of good stuff going on in the market. If you're not feeling like a lot of good stuff is going on, you're probably trading this market solo and you're doing it alone and you think unafraid but I guarantee you, you should be very afraid with what's going on because I think a lot of bad stuff's about to uh, happen China and Australia are agreeing uh, via some trade packs to ditch using the US dollar as their uh, as their common currency isn't that incredible so there goes the US dollar you can bet that the Middle East is going to follow soon. This time last year, uh, OPEC was talking about ditching the dollar uh, as, as valuing oil uh, on the U.S. dollar. I guarantee you that starts coming up again. So the United States, here we go, folks, getting ready to, uh, to roll over here. But uh, like I tell my Top Gun Options traders, we're going to potentially make money on the stupidity of others. If you want to do that, Come check out what we do here at Top Gun Options. Go to topgunoptions.com slash TA-LTB. That stands for Trade Alert dash Live Trade Brief. We have skill-based trade alerts, and we have skill-based live trade briefs. For example, I run the program called Primary. It's more for people who are newer or kind of know a little bit about what they're doing with options. And then we have a volatility arbitrage trader that runs intermediate and advanced for people who know what they're doing with options or who think they're Jedi Masters. And if you think you're good, we'll make you better. And then obviously most traders when they join Top Gun Options do both. They hang out in primary, intermediate, advanced, looking at how we manage $100,000 model portfolios in this very volatile and changing market. So go to topkinoptions.com slash TA-LTB and sign up for a two-week test flight and see how we do things here at Top Gun Options and see how we potentially make you know, $600 in 45 minutes on a, uh, on a trade on gold or we make $3,000 in the model portfolio uh, in a morning. Okay, so I got to run because I got a lot of trading to do. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. I'll be back with tomorrow's. Rep. We'll see you.